Well how's it going guys, Master of Power here. There are just a few short days until the Nintendo Switch is finally released and I can get my hands on it. There might not be a lot of launch games coming to the Nintendo Switch, and speaking about the launch day, there's a few other things not coming to the launch as well. One of the first things we're not getting at launch is the Virtual Console. Yes, we are getting the eShop, but we're not getting any classic games on the Virtual Console coming at launch. Originally, we were supposed to get three GameCube games coming to the Virtual Console at launch, but that's not going to happen quite some time yet, but we are getting three indie game titles. This will be coming out at a much later time. I was hearing rumors that it's not coming out until holiday season. That is quite a stretch to be waiting for the Virtual Console coming to the Switch, but then again, they also want to do paid services around that time as well. I also remember a rumor saying they're going to have multiplayer games for the Virtual Console, so maybe they want to combine it, who knows. Only time will tell, we'll just have to wait and see. The next thing we're not getting is the internet browser. But this could be due to several possibilities why there is no internet browser coming at launch. Coming from the president of Nintendo, Tatsumi Kimishima, he says, In terms of an internet browser, since all of our efforts have gone to making a Switch an amazing dedicated video game platform, it will not support it, or at least at launch. While that may be one of the reasons, another reason for the Internet Explorer not coming at launch is the exploits. For the Wii U, they actually use the internet browser to get into the system and hack it. I don't see that as a bad thing because we got the homebrew channel as well as some video game mods like my Smash Brother mods I've been doing, so I really don't see that as a bad thing. In a sense, I really don't care about the internet browser not coming to the Switch at launch. I have my phone, I have my computer, I can go on the internet anytime I want anyways. I'm sure you guys really don't care about watching YouTube videos on your Nintendo Switch console as well. Let me know in the comments below if you do or don't. Speaking about YouTube, that actually brings me to my next topic. We won't get any streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon, or anything along the lines. They may come at a later time, but not right away on the console. Like I said before, Kimishima wants it to be a video game dedicated system, so they're only going to be focusing on video games at this point. I don't watch Netflix, Hulu, or anything like that except for YouTube but I always have my phone for that anyways. Probably one of the biggest disappointments to me is there is no bundle games coming to the Switch at launch. This actually hasn't happened for quite some time where there was no game bundled with the console. With the Nintendo Wii, we got the Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. With the Wii U, we actually got Nintendo Land. But with the Switch, we get nothing. It would have been nice if we got something with the Switch, maybe an indie title or something like very small. I would even accept demos coming out for the Nintendo Switch as well. Let me know if you guys agree with that or not in the comments. And the last thing of course not coming to the Switch is the SD card. Some devices actually do come with the SD card, but the Switch is not going to have the SD card and there will be a lot of things to download and 32 gigabytes is just not enough. So I'm sorry you guys, you're going to have to buy one yourself. Are you guys disappointed that some of these things are not coming at launch? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, let me know as well. And as always, have a smashing day.